What is going on, guys? Drunken Dan here, just kind of recovering from a little party I had last night for my birthday. So I do apologize I did not get this out last night, but my drunken ass got up to do this. So you're welcome. I'm, I'll am i actually be shocked if my math is on point in this. It should be, uh, but I, I'm surprised that I actually did this. But just a couple of things really quick uh, before we get into the next event coming up for the Ethereal Arms. Uh, with the blog that came out, there is a coordinate assault coming up next week. Uh, just a reminder on that. I forgot how many points we each had to do, but we did the last one. You know, we have a few heavy spenders. Um, we just want to make sure that everybody is doing the amount that they should be doing or at least striving for it you know obviously we're always going to have some overspenders but we want to make sure that you know five six people aren't carrying the entire team for this um event also there is a victory blueprint coming up keep in mind though this uh they listed it here this iteration of victory blueprint does not reward towards the monthly milestone event this was not announced at the beginning of the month so i'm guessing that this was another last minute event uh so you it's just free stuff to get uh so ham did mention to start hoarding your war um your uh in your inbox um, by the time this launches, we should have just finished our third war. So that's usually the amount that we will have. Um, also, I know a couple of people have been asking, I just want to throw it in there really quick, the rate of fortune milestone. It's a waste of time. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bother with it. As I was looking at it, you have to average about 40,000 points a day to finish it. Uh, with us completing Doom 3.4, every day greek every day um you could kind of just take a look at this i don't want to really break it down too much like on what you have to do because it's, it's really unachievable um so we're getting about through the entire event for raid credits we're getting about almost thirty six thousand. uh if you're spending the 650 cores a day as we've recommended for the brains as brawn event for your campaign energy your uh, the donation for the total of five days, you're getting 32,000. That brings you to 68,000. Uh, even if you did hoard like two, three days worth of raid raid rewards in your mailbox, uh, that would give you probably, what, another 15,000? Even 15,000 points above uh, the uh, 68, uh, that puts you looking really quick. That puts you past milestone 15. It doesn't even hit milestone 16. Milestone 16 is where you have the death lock. And then milestone 17 is where you have the Hulkbuster shards. This is a money grab uh, milestone. Don't don't waste your time with that. You'd probably be better off just actually buying shards for those characters whenever they come up. So breaking down the Ethereal Arms event, there's going to be about like three different milestones going on that they all coordinate with each other for this event. It's not that bad of an event. Um, what it really focuses on is the Spider Weaver campaign event that's starting next week. Keep in mind also, they did mention that it's starting on the 23rd uh, in this blog. Originally, with the beginning of the month, uh, it was supposed to start the 21st, which is Wednesday. Uh, this being Friday now, but again, that could be a typo. They've had a shit ton of typos lately, so I would just, you know, prepare for a Wednesday. If it doesn't launch, that's fine. We're, we're you know, can save some, um, hopefully stock up on cores. It's kind of hard considering we're in a core spending event right now and we're going to need to spend more cores. So make sure you're hitting those arenas, getting the best, um, best ranking you can uh, to just kind of restock on core. So uh, this is broken down as to how many nodes you're completing a day. I did not incorporate how many orbs we get upon first time completion. I don't remember how many we get. Uh, so whatever points are here, you can kind of just stack like a little bit more on top of that um, because it's, the points are given based on how many orbs you open. So even if we got one or two orbs, you're looking at another two, 4,000 points. It's not a lot. It's not a. I don't think it's a, a a big difference. So it's not really important to incorporate it. But just keep in mind that these points are going to be a little bit skewed. So the first one again, the Spider Weaver campaign. Uh, you should usually be able to complete six nodes with energy throughout the whole day. Um, if you're coring uh, two nodes, you should be able to do about at the end of the event let's break it down that way by the end of the event if you're coring two nodes a day every day for seven days that's going to bring you to about 19 orbs if you're coring uh enough to complete 
all of the uh, heroic difficulty, all 10 nodes. Uh, by the end of the event, you're looking at 24 nodes. If you're able to then also core another two, which is on the the difficulty before, I believe it's hard. Those last two ones, uh, they actually bring you to about 2,900 orbs. Each node completion gives you about 700 shards, uh, so forth in seven days. Uh, and math is right here. So that's, you know, this is the point to look at. So these are three different scenarios, scenario one, two, and three. Um, Looking at those scenarios in conjunction with how many cores you're spending a day, so those 1,900 orbs, you know, times your 2,000 points, uh, 100 cores a day. I forgot how many points it was. I think it was like 10 points uh, for cores. Um, so, you know, that's 1,000 a day, 7,000 so far, so I don't want to really break down the math and confuse you, just giving you your end result. So at the end of those seven days, you're getting, you know, based on your scenarios, these are the points you should be getting. Um, there's then another milestone. Now, I've, I've always mentioned before, I do not break down these blitz milestones because they're relatively easy. Um, there's no really, there's no reason why nobody should be able to finish this. So it's blitzing with the vigilant trait. Uh, this is repeating uh, three times. So three times this will happen, two days each time. They give you ethereal arms milestone points. I was a little confused at first, but that is... Uh, in conjunction with the main milestone. So opening orbs, earning ethereal arms milestone points, and spending power cores gives you points for this overall milestone. So you can see how this gets a little bit confusing. Uh, they really try to throw us off with this. So if you're completing that milestone, you're getting about 60,000 uh, over those three days. So in grand total, Scenario one, two, and three. Scenario one is going to give you 105,000. That does not give you enough to hit the milestone 35, which gives you the last special item for the monthly event. Scenario two does not get you past that milestone. Scenario three does. So you're looking to spend about 400 cores a day, uh, completing 12 of those nodes. Obviously, yes, you could fall a little bit short because maybe you can even do um, 300 cores. I didn't really do the math for that. Um, I would probably just stick with the coring uh, for uh, doing 12 nodes a day. Spider Weaver is needed for Apocalypse later on. Uh, the campaign events are usually the most gracious in terms of shards that we get, get for this. So I would probably know the hell out of this. Oh, sorry, I would core the hell out of this um, to just complete that. So pretty easy event. Not that bad. Um, there are some other goodies in the blog. Scur uh, the next War Scourge is coming up. Uh, there is a web milestone that's also going to be every day. That's if you're spending um, 600 energy, it looks like, one point milestone one. Yeah, you need to be spending 600 energy a day, which is our daily. So just make sure to check in at the milestone when we do that for our keys, for your daily, um, etc. cetera. Um, again, another one on the, it looks like for the web milestone, funnel web fallout. No, web, I lied. Um this is just another milestone that's been going on for Blitz. Again, these Blitz ones are very easy. It should be able to be completed uh, without no problem. Uh, Golden Opportunity Milestone is coming in. This is replacing the High Roller. Victory Blueprint we talked about. And then also Kate Bishop is coming to a Mystic Node, um, replacing one of those Vision Nodes. So, all right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and knock this out of the park. September is ending soon. Uh, we will start to keep a closer eye on how many points is needed to complete now that we're kind of wrapping things up uh we'll probably mid next week we'll take a look at all the mutated sales that we're getting from the last of these events and seeing how far this puts us uh to finishing the milestone if we're going to need to get any um any offers later on all right guys take it easy and let's do this